Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, hello. One, two, one, two, one, two. Talking to myself, oh, 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 talking to myself. How are you guys? What's up, Fer? Good evening. What's going on? Uh, all good. All good? Yes. Okay. Glad to hear that. Man, we're missing four classes. Yes, four classes and you're done. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, this coming that Thursday. Is, that is the, the this is the, the, the fifth week. Yeah. No, it's fourth. Yeah, right. This is it's weird. Fourth. Let me see. But um hold on, let me check something. No. It's fifth. Yep. And, and so we're going to finish on on Thursday. 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 Hold on, let me check. Today is, is this vocabulary passive. Oh, we're going to talk about the passive voice with present perfect. Yeah, class number 22. Monday, September 20th. Ooh. Three days and we're done. Let's see. Okay. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Roberto. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Ada. Hello, Carla. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, Johnny. William, Elvin, Rina, and Fernando. Hello. How are you? How was your weekend? um it was good actually thank you for asking um i what did i do i worked on saturday morning and then i i did some errands i did some errands on saturday afternoon do you know what are errands no i don't know what is, Ma mandados. What is it? mandados oh I did some errands on Saturday afternoon. Errands. Mm. Uh -huh. And then I went to church at 5 p.m. Then we went to do the supermarket. The Quincena supermarket. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. That was like two hours on the supermarket. And then we came back home. We watched a movie. We saw uh, La Bella y la Bestia. In live, live action. Uh, at home? Yeah. Yeah, on, oh. on, on the Stars, Stars Plus app. Is with your old family? Yeah, with the kids. Oh, okay. We, ha we hadn't seen the La Vie La Bestia in um, Beauty and the Beast. I'm sorry, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> we <Really>? had, <laughs> we in hadn't. English, please. <laughs> yes, in English. <laughs> we, hadn't, we hadn't seen it. It was awesome. It's really nice in live, live action, you know, not, not the cartoon, the cartoon version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. Wait. And we went, we went to the uh -huh. park yesterday. We went to the park the whole afternoon to play baseball. Baseball. Yeah, we, we, we like to play baseball sometimes with the kids. That was really good. What about you? So in my case, um, um, on Saturday um, morning, I assist, uh, I don't remember how to say capa capa capacitation. A workshop. A workshop um, about documents, reports, um, uh, and the afternoon, I went to El Café Talón. Really? Yes. Um, um, with my what? friends. 
What did you do? Um, eat. <laughs> Sorry. You I you like ate? to eat. <laughs> uh, fries. Um, uh, typical, typical food? Typical, yes, typical food. Uh, hamburger. Uh, these are there, but what I like. <laughs> That's uh, good. But your metabolism... Well, you look, you look like your metabolism is really high. Yeah, very skinny. That, that's good. That's good. I remember. Uh, I remember when I could eat whatever and not get fat. I was very thin, really and, thin. And now? Now I'm, I'm not fat, but, you know, I have this little belly. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not fat. That's my... No. Perfil. That's my perfil. And I'm doing exercise, so I'm not I'm not that fat. But I'm almost 40 and you have to be healthy. And right? how often do you do you practice or uh, do you do you do on exercise? Every day. Every really? day. I'm doing <laughs> one one hour. I'm doing planks, planchas. Oh, okay. Planks and um, and abs. <laughs> really <laughs> difficult. Yeah, oh, but, okay. you know the the opposite abs when you lift your legs. Cuando levantas las piernas. Like mm -hmm. this. Oh, that really hurts. But it's really good. It's really good. What's my my objective? Um, on the first first days. <laughs> January. Yeah, year, January but... first. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just a few days. Awesome. Good job, Carol. Hey, what about you, Alan? How are you? You look so serious. No, no. I'm just reading some emails that sent me from my boss. Okay. Okay, what? guys. Today's Monday. I was telling Fernando, guys, that on Thursday, we're done. On Thursday, we finished this model on, on Thursday. So please do me a favor, make sure you finish the platform. Asegúrense de terminar la plataforma el miércoles, si pueden, porfa, para que yo el jueves en la noche me quede a la medianoche guardando todas sus notas. Okay. If you may. Okay. Hey, it was raining today. But there was no traffic. I, I I came home like in 15 minutes. So there was no traffic. That was good. Okay. Let's start. I'm going to do the attendance, if you don't mind. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Not yet. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Gracias. Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Excellent. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. He was there. There you go. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Excellent. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. I saw Rina. Yeah, there she is. Okay, don't forget to turn on your cameras. Let's start. Let's see where we're going to start today. Who remembers last class? And by the way, tonight I'm staying with Mr. Abrego Brizuela. 
with Mr. Abrego. With me. Yeah, for 10 minutes, buddy. Okay, no problem. I think so. <laughs> Good. Okay, who remembers the last topic? We were talking about hazardous substance or something like that. Hazards? Uh huh. So, what were some examples of hazards? Toxic people. Come again? Come again? Oh, uh, a person that do heavy jokes or that it's not um, let me say safe. No, no. When, when the people trying to give uh, make jokes with you, but it's something annoying. Pranks. Yeah. Pranks. That's what you remember. <laughs> do, do you do do you do pranks at work? Or have oh, you no. have, have you ever done a prank? Um, just uh, serious people. I like to do jokes. Really? Okay. Yeah, of so. You can say I'm surrounded by serious people. Oh yeah. All really? The time. Yeah. Okay. Not so good. You can work, I mean. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's just, a liar. Really? Just Carolina is the one funny at your job? Yeah, it's all the time she's trying to make jokes with us and trying to feel like uh I don't know. It's, it's 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 difficult because she's not serious at all. Is she annoying? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm not quiet. <laughs> You're quiet. Okay, okay. But when the boss when the boss is close, right? <laughs> no, when she's sleeping. Oh my god. Okay, guys, let's go with the topic for today. It's a continuation, small continuation of your previous topic. Uh, let's, so let in this case, we have to provide safety measures to control risks at the production plant. Okay, and let's make it fun. Con ustedes se me está cumpliendo algo y espero que ya vayamos borrando eso. Me llega a escucharlos hablar. Aquello de que yo entiendo, leo, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Y escucho, lo leo, lo escribo y lo entiendo, pero no lo hablo. <laughs> so, let's start speaking, guys. Okay. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? Would a safety program prevent accidents? What type of rules do you think a safety plan has? Interesting questions. Okay. We all understand what is a manufacturing plant at this point, right? Where you produce products. So do you think all manufacturing plants are dangerous? No. Not all of them. Not all of them. Uh, it depends what kind of product they produce. Excellent. Okay. Hmm, let's think for a minute. Hmm. Well, a company that manufactures choco bananos could be dangerous. What else? I think Cigarette. <laughs> cigarettes? Manufacturing of company of cigarettes. Well, it depends. If there is a conveyor belt, if there is a conveyor belt, don't you think conveyor belts are dangerous? I can't remember the, the writing conveyor, conveyor. Oh my God, am I right? Can you check conveyor belt? Belts, conveyor belt. That's the name for the, when you manufacture something on, in line, in a production line, and everything is automated, Everything is automated. Oh, automated. When everything is automated, there are conveyor belts. Can you check that word, someone, Fernando? Is uh, cintas transportadoras. Yeah, but is it right? 
your conveyor. Let me check. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm doubting. Oh my God, I'm doubting of myself. Okay. Uh huh. So if there are conveyor belts, is it dangerous? Of course, it's too dangerous. Okay. What about welding machines? Okay. What about welding machines? What are wel welding? What's welding? Uh, soldador, soldador, máquinas soldadoras. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about the noise. Can you hear the sound? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. No. Thank you. Okay, yeah, máquinas soldadoras. What other type of machines do you know? Cutting machine, teacher. Cutting. Cutting machines, yeah. Cutting, machine. Cutting machines. Yeah. What about sewing machines? The cut machine. Cutting, cutting machines, okay. Oppressions machines. Pressing machines, oh, yes. Pressing. We said it with uh, Isera, yeah. Pressing machines. Um, how do you say that in Spanish? Pressing machines? Um, compactadoras? No, wait. I can't remember. She said. Prensa. Yes. Prensa hidráulica. Prensa hidráulica. That's right. Hy hydraulic, hydraulic pressing machines. Yeah. Okay. So all of these are uh, hazards. I mean, if there are any of this kind of machines at any job, that's dangerous. Right. So if the plant includes these machines, it is dangerous. Um, so will a safety program prevent accidents? What do you think? Yes. How? What type of rules do you think? I guess that, uh -huh. sorry, continue. No, 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 keep going, please. I guess that companies uh, maybe provide like training to the new employees and mm -hmm. to, yes, to notify them what kind of issue they can have if they don't follow the correct process using a machine or something like that. Actually, yes, that's totally right. You know, even if there are no machines, a wet floor, a wet floor can cause an accident. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, uh, the workers at my wife's company, they were entering, they were, they were outside the factory. They were outside the factory waiting to get inside the factory. And when everybody, it, it had rain, it had rain. It wasn't raining, but it had rain. So the floor was wet and green. You know, there, there was musgo. There was musgo or hummus on the floor. And one of the machine operators, an old lady, an old lady, fat, she was big. She slept, she slept on the floor let me write that down. Okay, she slept on the floor and she broke, she broke her leg. She broke her um, leg right underneath the knee, right underneath her knee. She broke her bone just because she fell and she fell, she fell on top of her knee, on top of her, her leg. So all her weight, all her weight was on her leg. So the ambulance came, you know, and they took her to the hospital. It was an accident, but it was at work. Now, do you consider that among the plan, among the safety plan, this is very interesting. Among the plans, there is a rule that states that if you are 
at the facilities, then the company, uh oh, the company becomes accountable. It's not just responsible, you can say accountable. Okay, do you understand? So I'm on the rules, and this is a general rule from the Ministerio de Trabajo, from the Ministry of Labor. If you have an accident at work, even if you are not inside your job, but you were going to your work, you were going to your work, on the way to your work, if you have an accident, that is considered a labor accident. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think the other way around, the other way around doesn't work, right? If you were leaving, if you were on your way home, that doesn't count, does it? Does that work? Listen, does that work both ways? Does that work both ways? Funciona en ambos sentidos? Does that work both ways? Going home and coming to work? Yeah, of course, if they de determine that you are that you are in the time frame on the time lapse mm -hmm. okay if they determine that you are in that time frame the company be yeah. must become accountable yeah, as far as i know yes okay good and by the way as carolina said or jocelyn i'm sorry as jocelyn said is your company training you for labor accidents, for accidents at work? Yes, Did... no, especially at training, but in this day, uh, the company that I work for, I uh, remember that at the beginning when you are new one, when you are in training, uh, there is a man who arrives to the training room, provides so many things about issue, what we can do, mm. where we can ask for help, mm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. But are you aware that the Ministry of Labor is actually um, requesting, demanding companies to take a specific training for um, labor accidents? And you must have cuadrillas de trabajo. I don't know how to say that. Uh huh. They are asking companies to train their employees for labor accidents. It's crazy. And you must take that training. And there are Cruz Roja, for example, and, and the fire department, the Red Cross and the fire department, they are implementing the training. So they go to your company and they give the training to the selected employees. That's awesome. That's really good. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, let's go together and let's answer these questions just for a few minutes. Así como yo he estado teniendo este monólogo, ustedes tienen que hablar <laughs> en grupos, okay? Please, it's time for you to talk. Don't stay quiet. Okay. Okay, let's go. Hi guys.
Hi. Hello, William, Alan, Alexander. Perdón, teacher, tengo un problema con el teléfono ahorita. Oh, ok. Estoy trabado aquí, no sé qué hacer. Está bueno. Ay, Alan. Hi, now I'm by myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alan. Uh, What's up? Uh, our manufacturing plant sent you a place to work? Mm, of course. Um, I think that is uh, all the manufacturing plants are dangerous because they have different process that need attention and of course uh, as much uh, process as simple that they do uh, are involved to get uh, some dangerous uh, situation it's necessary to get a plan instead to be ah do it whatever you want it's, um, I think all the manufacturing plants are dangerous. Oh, okay. Uh, how uh, you work how uh, I work a safety program for an accident in your work? Uh, I don't hear it, so. Would the safety would a safety program prevent accident? What I don't listen to. What do you what did you say? Oh in your work. In my work. Well, uh -huh. you work. Actually, uh, the the I don't remember how many uh prevention manuals. But there is a one in a special that is useful for all the areas, and because as uh, we do, uh, for example, so we have some. Uh, how can I say that? The division of the company they manipulates different substances. Uh, they have different process, and of course they have different. Uh, a training manual to, and ask the same, a different prevention manual to avoid accident. It's not the same manual that people can manipulate fuel uh, substance with, uh, they also to get fire easily. And the same uh, people that manipulate, uh, in, how can we say, cement or concrete. And because there are different ways to to manipulate it, in some in some cases get fire, in other cases they have uh, under pressure uh, systems, and they need to get different uh, uh, procedure. And they have uh, let me think that uh, they have uh, at least I. I remember they have five manuals of prevention. So, and, and you were only, uh, and, and you were only for a earthquake teacher, can you say terremoto? <laughs> earthquake. Como? Earthquake. Earthquake. Okay, earthquake. Uh, Quake. Quake. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you and you were Alan only earthquake or fire. Yeah, we, the, we practice in some uh, every six months. Sometimes I don't remember the how many uh, frequently they. How often? Do, how often do oh. that uh, simulacro? Mm -hmm. I I don't use the word frequently. <laughs> yeah, me neither. 
evacuation drill. Ah, eu... Evacua evacuation drill. 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 Evacuation drill. Ah, okay. It's now the same as the hand tool that you use to make holes. Drill. Sounds like. Really? Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, in the case we uh, practice every six months at least, that that evacuation drill is not like an earthquake. Is in the case of uh, in fire case, we try to uh, do the same uh, every eight seven months. It's not at the same time. We try to to do it in different. Uh, a different month to practice same as I freeze A. We practice in some cases freeze A in just a commercial. Carolina is the person that uh, coordinate that. Coordinates, very good. Okay, a hey, drill as a verb. Drill as a verb. Ejercicio. Okay. Good. Oh, oh sí. yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. No, 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 the the training for the accident the accident the um the como se llama? simulacros por terremoto no sé cómo se dice earthquake uh, trails with trails and the yeah. accident yeah. for the 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 substance and dangerous substance uh, toxics or nothing in toxic substances toxic substances ajá estamos ocupando el adjetivo después es antes toxic okay. substances uh, dangerous uh, you said dangerous something yeah it's um fires uh, is frequently i and the in areas the i condition and the the maintenance is a frequently the the fires. Mm. Fires are frequent. Yes, is mm. in the sala room is a frequently the contamina contamination for the different batteries. Is a frequently the training for the the doctors and nurses. Yeah, in oh your God. case, it's, it's, it's difficult because if you use bad the machines, <laughs> it can be fatal because yeah. the patient can die. No? <laughs> yeah, it's, difficult. it's a lot of production, the patients. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. well, in my case, I don't, I don't, I don't know very well the processes in the uh, there are two plants in my work for example uh, in berlin and awachapan are, are two plants but i i don't know very well what is the process but i i know the machines is very dangerous because they produce the energy the renewable energy renewable but, renewable Renewable energy. But I think that is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. You don't you don't know the process for no because because, get... uh, because I am in charge of insurance in charge uh, all in charge of the company. Okay. The... On the air, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. 
And you and your case, Jose Antonio. What type of rule or rules do you think a safety plan has? What type of rules? Um, excuse me, guys. I'm going to stand up for a minute, okay? Okay. One minute. Jose. <laughs> Orina, what are your rules? Do you think a safe plan? Case, in my case, I don't know. I don't know if there are rules because there is. Mm, no danger in my no, that, area. Danger. My, no. But if, um, if, 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 you, if you don't wear mask, ah, yes, 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 yes. In my case, ah, ah, mm, ah, uh, and, um, Ah, entonces eh, su, su, ¿cómo se le dice? Entonces se aplica. <ríe> yes, it's a rule. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A safety plan for COVID. Use alcohol, eh, mask. Uh -huh. It's a, it's a rule in I I think in all all companies. Mm -hmm. Um, in my case, um, Okay, so we're back. Hey, do you have uh, any sort of plans for risk or hazards at your job? Or do you conduct do you conduct uh, drills? Do you conduct drills at your job for earthquakes or yeah. fires? No? I remember no. when I used to work for Cogni for uh, yeah, Cognizant, um, it was heliocentric before. Uh, we were we were on a very high on the seventh floor. We were on the seventh floor of the building, and once a year we used to conduct um, an earthquake drill or fire drill. You know, just to make sure that everybody. I mean, just the timing to put put a time there, and there was a time. The first time we did it. It, we took too long to go down through the stairs, you know. Can you imagine go down seven floors through the stairs? That was crazy, man. We took like, I can remember, 30 minutes, I think. 30 minutes to go out of, of a building. Over 300 employees going through the stairs at the same time. That was crazy. But in my case, is a similar because there is a fire, a fire. Uh, uh, is a one year, what one year? Mm -hmm. uh, once a year. Once a year, if necessary, uh, because 
da, da um, Ministerio de Trabajo <laughs> exige. The Ministry of Labor, yeah. Yeah, Ministerio of Labor need uh, for once a year is is very very necessary. It's a crazy because in my company there are three 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 thousand employees. Three thousand employees. Yeah, is the company is is uh, is very very big. big. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy in three minutes. It's crazy. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, in, in three minutes, uh, uh, all the employees is go out. In three minutes, every employee yeah. must be outside. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's so crazy. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> we cover with the uh, it's a crazy. It's crazy. It's a crazy situation. It's a yeah. crazy situation. Yeah, that I can imagine that. Okay. <clears throat> I was losing my voice. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's continue. So we have a conversation here on page 35. Okay. Listen, pay close attention. There's something that you may not know yet. So listen. G, have my safety Googles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What are those measures about? What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around have been taken away? Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Wow. Questions? Mm -hmm. Questions? What do you notice? What is weird? What is odd for you on this conversation? ¿Qué les parece extraño de esta conversación, el lenguaje que están aplicando? Uh, the employee must mm -hmm. uh, use many things. Like a protection, ear protection, glow, protective bed, helmet, yeah, they jacket. Have to use a lot of protection. <laughs> Safety equipment, that's right. Good, Jocelyn. But regarding the grammar, guys, do you see anything weird? Anything new? Si notan algo nuevo, algo raro dentro de la gramática que se está empleando en esta conversación? Johnny. Present perfect. Hmm. Yeah. Pero es como combinó con el participio también el otro verbo. I've been taken. Been taken, been stolen. Okay. Been designed. Okay. Yeah, we will talk about it. Any new words? Take away. Take away. What's the meaning? Yeah. Uh, to move to move something from one place to another. Put something mm -hmm. to put something away. Far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. 
What about G? What do you think is G? G. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Caramba. 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 It's like, wow. It's just an expression. It's just an expression. Oh, God. Gosh. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Have my safety Googles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. I don't, I don't see them anywhere. Okay, what about Googles? What are Googles? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, Fernando, that's right. Something. <laughs> yeah, they're like glasses. It's like glasses, glasses. but those are, okay. yeah, it's just to protect, it's just to protect your eyes. They are not to see better. They're just designed to protect your eyes. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be, got to be, got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Okay. What are, what are scattered? Scattered. 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 Uh huh. What do you understand by scattered tools? To prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Scattered. It's like scattered. when you, huh? In the, in disorder everywhere. Yeah, like a, and and damage a little bit tools. Mm. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's when so you it's, leave, when you're dis disorganized, when you are untidy and you leave everything around, you leave a whole mess all around the place. It's like when you take, when you take your clothes off, the, when you take your clothes off, do you leave your clothes all scattered in your room? You got it, Rina. That's right. Tirada, esparcida, everywhere. Okay. Regada, como diríamos en salvadoreño. Okay. So let's practice this conversation together in small groups. Repeat, repeat, repeat until you get it. If you have no questions, let's practice, okay? It's 8.48. You only have 12 minutes. Let's do it. Teacher, what happened? I sent you the invitation. Mm, okay, now, yeah. You got it? Okay. Okay. G, how many safari Googles, Googles being stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your Google have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You gotta, gotta be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear air, air protection gloves. Ear, ear. Ear, okay, teacher. Ear protection gloves. Reflective belt, protection belt, helmet, helmet, jacket, rubber box, ear plug, store tools in the proper location. So, 
my Googles and the other tools I left around the around here have been taken away? Yes. The new safety plan has been design, designed to provide a scarlet tool outside the tool room. Change. Me, Joel, and you, Diego. Yes? Yes. Okay. G, how many safety Googles being stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You go to be, to be kidding. What are those measure, measure about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vests, protection belts, helmets, jackets, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been take, taken away. Yes. yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered, scattered. scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, William. Okay. Um... You are saying something, uh, ear, ear protection. Remember, ear protection, reflective vest um, around here. You are saying the safety plan, safety, scatter it, scatter it. Scatter it. Scatter it. You got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You got been kidding me. You gotta be. You gotta be kidding me. Kidding, me. kidding, kidding, kidding me. Ki kidding, kidding me. Uh -huh. Son is todas kidding me. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Mejor. Uh -huh. You gotta be kidding me. Helmet. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Measures, teacher. Correct. Measures. Measures. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it again. Measures. You are. You are required to wear ear protection, low, re reflective vest. Yes. You can see I lost best protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plug, store tool in pro proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yeah. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to provide scary tool outside the tool room. Okay. Okay. Now uh, change the role. Okay. You uh, are Joel. Joel. I am Joel. G, how my safety Google is being stolen? Googles. I don't see Google's, Google's being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your Google's have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You got to be kidding. What are those measures about? It's measures, 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 measures about. 
You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, boots ear plugs, starts, start tools in the proper location. So my goals and the other tool I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to pro prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay. Renee, Renee's driving. Renee's <laughs> driving. Careful. Okay, once more. Yeah, Just one, one more time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Diego, um, fine. Diego. They said you are required to. We are protection goals. Esa, que está larga. Uh, mm -hmm. You are required to wear ear protection. Mm -hmm. eh, goals, o como se pronuncia? Glow. 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 Reflective vest. 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 Best. 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 Pro protection belt. 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 Clothes, reflect belts, protect belts. Mm, protection, trying to, to say protection. that protection. Protection belt. ¿Cómo hacemos? ¿Cómo hacemos para quitar el chong? Shen. Shen. S-H-E-N. Protection. Protection. Shen. Shen. Con la E. Shen. Cambiale la O por la E. Protection. Protection. Shen. Shen. Ah, por ahí va. Ok. Protection. Shen. You got it. Ok. ¿Cuál otra, Miriam? Um... De esa misma oración, la siguiente, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Helm. Helmet. Hel helmet. Helmet. Con una G. Al principio, helmet. en vez de H, helmet. Helmet. Ok. ¿Alguna otra que? Prohibit, no, no, no te cuesta mucho. Prohibit, yes. Prohibit. Hatter. Pero me gusta más el British scatter. Scatter. <laughs> scatter. Scatter. Okay. Scatter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. It's nine o'clock on the Monday. And it feels like Friday. Actually, today is, isn't it? No, it's not a Friday. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, before we proceed, Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. 
Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Okay. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, Jose Antonio is there. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Thank you, Carla. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Daniel Alfonso Madrid Escalante is driving. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's see. I need two volunteer two volunteers. Say me and your name, please. Mi Fernando. Mi Fernando and me who? Miguel. Mi Alex. Mi Miguel. Okay, mi Fernando and mi Miguel. Mi Mika. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, then I go with me, Alexander. One, two, three, go. Gui had my safety Google's being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You got to be kidding. What, what, are, we, that, what are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boot, ear plugs, stores tools in proper location. So my goods and the other tools I left around here have been taken away? Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to pro prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Excellent, good job. Try to join the sounds, I don't, I don't, I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere, I don't see them. I don't, I don't see, see them, them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. Better. Okay. Right. Taken. Taken. Taking. Taken. 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 There's yeah. a there's a movie, right? Named Taken. Yeah, okay. it's a, a game. Steven Spielberg. Oh yeah, there's a game as well. Okay. Uh-huh. Rubber butts. I'm sorry, rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. 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 Just rubber change boots. change the O's for O. Rubber boots. 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 Earplugs. 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 Okay. Hey Fernando, here. Here. I left around here. I left around here. 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 There you go. Sounds better. Here. Okay, me Alexander and me who. Alexander too. Wait, Alexander de Jesus and who? William Alexander. Oh, and the second Alexander, okay. <laughs> One, two, three, action. Gee, how my safety Googles being stolen. I don't see them anywhere. Your Googles have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, store tools in the proper location. So my Googles and the other tools I left around here has been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tools rooms. Room, hey, sorry. better. Okay, very good. Alexander, I'm sure you can do this better. I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them. I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. I don't see them anywhere. Them. Them. I don't see them. Uh, I don't see them. I don't see them. I don't see them. <laughs> I don't see them. Mm, you're saying seeing. Uh, I don't see I don't, them. There you go. 
there you go. I don't see them anywhere. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, I don't see them anywhere. Better. Okay. Uh, William, taken away. Taken away. Taken. Taken. Taken there away. You go. Taken away. Okay. Measures. 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 Okay. Designed. 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 The new safety plan has been designed. Designed. There you go. Okay. So, should we hear? No, let's go. Let's continue with the plan. So, let's see. There are some questions here. Can somebody give me an answer? What items is Joel looking for? The Google. Google's. The Google's, right? His Google's. Okay, what is the new safety measure about? What is the new safety measure about? You are required to wear a, a protection glove, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, helmet jacket, rubber boots, a gloves, your tools in the proper location in the proper location Ro rubber boot rubber boots rubber boots rubber boots rubber boots there you go okay in your opinion why should tools not be scattered in the production plant your own opinion hello all of them <laughs> no why why should tools not be um, scatter it in the production plant. Yeah. To avoid an accident. To avoid yes. an accident. Yes. I agree with you. Okay. Somebody can trip. Somebody can trip with the with the tools, right? If, if they're left on the floor. Okay, so how to use the passive voice with present perfect? I want you to scan this sentences, okay? The passive voice is used when the emphasis of the sentence is on the action and not on the subject. Okay, um, let's look at some example really quick. Something very simple. Active boys. It is present perfect, right? A book has been read. Mary has been, I'm sorry, Mary has written a book. That's present perfect, right? Right? Mary has written a book. What if I tell you a book has been written by Mary. Okay, this is not important anymore. Mary has written a book. A book has been written. The doer of the action doesn't matter anymore. So, de nuevo, el presente perfecto necesita un sujeto, el auxiliar que es have or has, ¿Cuándo es has, Ada? ¿Cuándo ocupo has y no have? Doc? Has y no have. Uh -huh. ¿En qué sujetos voy a ocupar has y no have? Uh, he, she, it. Perfecto. Third person, right? La tercera persona, voy a ocupar has, no have. Regla número dos, siempre el verbo va a ir en el pasado participio, right? Ahora. Right. Si yo uh, hablo en presente, es lo mismo. Voz activa. I write a book. ¿Cómo sería la voz pasiva? A book. A book. Correcto, a book. identifico. Vamos por partes. A book. 
ojo todos, y este es el ejercicio que tenés que hacer mentalmente. ¿Cuál es el objeto en esta oración? I write, I write a book. A book, correcto. Ajá, continúa yo. Libro, a book. Ajá. A book. A book has, has been written by oh, me. Estoy en presente simple, entonces vamos a empezar desde el presente. ¿Cómo lo hago? Voz pasiva. Has. Uh -huh. hmm. A book has been written by me. Seguís en presente perfecto. No, esto es, esto es presente simple. I write a book. A book is written. Quería aterrizarlos a todos. Ajá. Oh my God. It's the same in, in, Ajá. It's in, in past. El, vaya, el, lo que quiero es que algunos han de estar un poco perdidos con ese tema o no lo recuerdan. So, dice la regla que si tengo, voy a respetar el tiempo gramatical que estoy ocupando. Entonces, basándonos en eso, la regla dice, número uno, tengo que respetar la regla gramatical que estoy aplicando. Aquí escribí en presente simple, I write a book, voz activa. La voz pasiva te obliga a ocupar el verbo to be y el verbo en pasado participio. Repito, la voz pasiva te, te, obliga, te obliga a ocupar el verbo to be en el tiempo en el que estás hablando, ¿no? Estaba en presente simple, lo voy a ocupar en presente simple, el verbo to be. Y número dos, el verbo pasa a su tercera forma, al presente participio. Pero o sea, lo... que la acción se, se da sobre el no sobre el sujeto, sino sobre la acción. A, al revés, al revés. Objeto. A ver, voy a sobre... buscar primero cuál es el objeto de la oración. Ah, uh -huh. un libro. Entonces, el objeto, Adita y todos pasa a ser el sujeto de la oración del que se dice ¿y dónde quedé yo? ¿dónde quedó el sujeto? es irrelevante porque ahora lo que digo lo voy a decir sobre el objeto a book is written puedo mencionar el sujeto si quiero agregando by me okay. ¿qué estoy diciendo? un libro no, yo escribo un libro un libro es escrito por mí. ¿Ok? Un ejemplo más. Vámonos al pasado. Sigamos en la misma línea. ¿Cómo sería el pasado de esa oración, Fernando? Eh, I wrote a book. Cabal. Cabal. William, ¿cómo sería la voz pasiva en pasado entonces? ¿Cuál sería el sujeto ahora de la oración? A book. Ajá, a book. Mm. Y como el, la oración estaba en pasado, ¿cómo iría el verbo to be? Was. Excelente. Uh, Bien, uh, Elvin, ajá. A book was. ¿Y el verbo, y Carla Janet? Written. Qué ronca está Carla Janet. Ok. <risa> <risa> Lo siento, Tucho. <risa> ok. A book was written. Y de nuevo, es irrelevante quién hizo la acción. Pero si lo gustas, lo puedes mencionar. Ok. Solo los quiero poner en contexto. Ok. I write a book. A book is written by me. I wrote a book. A book was written by me. Un ejemplo más. A ver, señores de Intermedio 2. Futuro. Sí, misma oración. Uh -huh. I will write a book. Come on. A ver, Carla. Carla Janet. <laughs> a book. Um... Teacher, ¿cómo se hace el verbo tu bien futuro? B. Espérense, dejen la que te aterrice. Ay, ustedes. A book will be. Uh -huh. Ajá. Continúe, Carla. Written. Come will on. be written. Ajá. A book will be written. Si quiero, puedo decir para mí. Si no, no. A, will, a book will be written. Y ahí estás. Mira. Presente, pasado, futuro. Ahora el presente perfecto. Jocelyn, ¿nos puedes explicar? Primero decía, Mary has written a book. Sorry, teacher. Can you ask me the question once again? Sorry. No, si nos puedes explicar en tus propias palabras cómo entendiste entonces el presente perfecto, ¿no? 
La voz pasiva del presente. Mm, ok. Lo más importante aquí es básicamente el objeto, como usted mencionó. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El objeto, y vamos a usar siempre eh, más que todo el verbo past participle. Cabal, ahora como dice la regla, ¿no? Voy a respetar esa regla de poner el verbo to be en, en uh -huh. el tiempo en el que estoy ocupando. O sea, si la oración estaba en. Um, oops. Like si la oración estaba en, uh, en presente perfecto, pues el verbo to be se va a ver afectado por ese tiempo y se va a convertir en has been. Esta partícula me dice que estoy hablando en presente perfecto y esto me dice que estoy usando el, la voz pasiva. A book has been written. Un libro ha sido escrito. A ver, aquí sería un libro es escrito por mí. Un libro fue escrito por mí. Un libro será escrito por mí. Y entonces. Ajá. Un libro ha sido escrito por María. <ríe> ah, sí, por María en este caso. Un libro ha sido escrito. Es escrito, fue escrito, será escrito, ha sido escrito. Deberá ser escrito. Ah. Conversación para otro, otro día. Questions. Preguntas, preguntas. Eso está fácil, ¿eh? Si lo entendiste así como, como te lo acabo de explicar. No questions. Veamos los ejemplos de su libro. Let's look. So. Ahora. Y de nuevo, como lo decía yo, the passive voice is used to when, when the emphasis of the sentence is on the action and not on the subject. Okay. So your Googles have been taken away. In contrast to they have taken your Googles away. Your Googles have been taken away. Aquí pasó el objeto hacer el sujeto y respeto el auxiliar y el verbo to be en pasado participio y continúo por la regla del presente perfecto ocupando taken en tercera persona en tercera forma ok y esta es la fórmula el objeto plus the auxiliary siempre vas a poner bien ojo plus the verb y siempre Have, has, continúa siendo mi auxiliar. En caso yo quiera hacer una negativa o, un, o una pregunta, juego con el auxiliar siempre agregándole la negativa al auxiliar o trayendo al frente para hacer una pregunta. Have my safety Google's been stolen? And so on. Esa es la fórmula para hacer una pregunta también. Questions? No. No questions. Ok. Eso está bien fumado. So, vamos a ver. Ok. I'm going to split you in groups. So, you can select the verb for each sentence. Ok. Notice. Complete the following sentences and questions in the passive voice. So, you only have sentences and questions. It's six in total. Let's work in team. Let's work in groups. Give your opinion. Si ya lo entendiste al 100%, ayúdale a tus compañeros. No solo des la respuesta, sino que ayúdale a tus compañeros y decir, hey, no, hombre, si no es así, decir, no, hombre, no. Ok. Get, have a discussion. Why? Ok. Let's do it. That's page 36. Sandra, William, Miriam. Uh, 
I don't know. Wrong remember. step. <laughs> you start with the left. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, she's not going to sleep well today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What is this? It's the statements. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three new safety measures. Teacher, sorry. I, I guess that's supposed to be there was some word that we need to complete in these kind of sentences or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess that I have I'm an sorry. idea. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I will stop sharing just because. Uh, Thank you, Yoselin. So, uh, you're welcome. Three new safety measures have been created. You can share, Alan. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me try it. Let me try it. Let me try it. because I don't have the book on my computer. I use it in my cell phone. No, and then I just send you another image to your WhatsApp. Okay. Yes, I already. Uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. No. Okay. Complete the following sentences in question in the past. Boy, choose the appropriate verb. Compare answer with a partner. We need safely measure. We need safely measure. Has been created. Why? Wow. I agree with you, but. How, how yeah. do you do that? Yeah, I agree. Okay. The one Thank who is sharing can reply the answer, please. And write. Ah, Miguel. Okay. I was thinking was Alan. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> you always say this. Okay. Okay. Remember, is past voice, and we need to use has been. Has been created. Fueron creadas, Miguel. ¿Cómo se borra esto? Han sido creadas. Ah, yo sé, yo sé, yo sé. De hecho, está bien similar al, al español. Sí, pero más confuso. Lo que pasa es que no estamos acostumbrados a hablar así, tía. Es como en la madre yeah. patria. Vale. Tú me lo has dicho. Sí, que te lo he dicho. <risa> oh my God. Hey, teacher. ¿Y en qué momentos no se puede usar el passive voice? Uy. Ahí creo que ahí, esas dudas siempre he tenido. A mí me lo explicaron, pero como no mucho en ese momento. Pero ahí tenía entendido que hay ciertas situaciones, ciertas, ciertos statements que no se pueden utilizar el passive voice. Honestamente, sí. nunca me he puesto a pensar en eso, en ir versa, pero no se me ocurre nada ahorita donde no lo puedo ocupar. Salvo que no puedes decir algo acerca de un objeto. Yo medio me explicó alguien de los, de los que más, de los profesores, uh -huh. pero no, no le entendí bien en qué momento. Entonces me quedé con esa duda, pero hasta, el, hasta la fecha yo siempre lo he utilizado en los que he podido. A ver pero, si un ejemplo bien fumado, porque no, no se me ocurre nada. Sí, la verdad, yo me quedé así como que creo que mejor no hubiera estudiado inglés. Vamos, mejor no. <risa> en serio, no, hombre. Es eh, que tenía una, el, el, es, era un profesor que nos daba clases, pero enfocado a medicina. Él es técnico, pero en medicina. My God. Ok. Ok. The second one. Remember, we had to use. Yeah. Have plus B. Pues sí. 
<laughs> then it's still by number uh, five, the new safety officer. Create. Mm. The new safety and, and the number three? Number three, created. Have been. Created. Uh -huh. No, 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 created, no. It, it Have been was, innovated. Um, innovated, uh -huh. innovated. Okay. The new safety officer. Mm. Um, how have the new safety office have sorry, have the new safety officer um, how or has ah yeah has has the new safety officer mm. thank you guys okay mm, issue create make no I have the new safety officer. Oh, has been the new safety officer trained, oh. trained? Entrenado, trained. What is the past uh, part? Has been the new safety officer trained? ED. Trained, uh huh. Yeah, D. And I said it has been the new safety officer. Uh huh. Trained. Trained. And the last one. How been we? The new helmets. Helmets is is. Casco. We issue. We have an issue. Let's my book. Casco. I'm not sure. Hey, I know you say make. Made. 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 How we, we made. How being we, how being we. I think we made the new helmets. Innovate. Innovated. Innovated. But innovated is in goggles now. Uh -huh. The number three. Mm, ocupado issue make tres nuevos tres sido creados y creados ah sabes vale and the first maybe is how how being created and number four is has been made. Creo que se puede. Made. Made. Given es como no hemos, nosotros hemos estado dando. Pero la voz pasiva es el objeto. Sí, es para, para objetos. Uy, yeah. New earplugs have been given by, by us. Because if you notice, we have been given not passive voice. Gramaticalmente está bien, pero como que algo no cuadra. 
<laughs> it's not passive voice. But look at this passive voice statements object plus have has been. Oh my wow! Oh my wife! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> my wife is cooking hamburgers. I think. Oh my god! I'm on a I'm on a diet. This was actually my my dinner. dinner. Yeah. <laughs> a shake. Is it difficult, guys? Do you feel difficult? This. In the of... second and um, the second sentence, we we second are done and third. Copy. We're struggling. We're struggling. We're struggling with the um, second sentence. Okay. Well, in the third, answers. third as well. The third one. What do you have? Let's see, the, the new two, safety Googles are nice. Yeah. They have been innovated. Yes, that's right. Number two, we have been given given or issued new earplugs. Yeah. Oh, wait, why has been? Has the new safety yeah. officer been trained? Who's the subject? Who's the object there? Mm. The new safety officer is the is the object or was the object and now it is the subject. Mm. Yeah, the, in this this the second one is the same because we have yeah yeah it's gra grammatically 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 good grammatically correct but, correct but it's not passive voice. Yeah, that's not right. Uh -huh. Has the new safety officer been trained? Has he been trained? Has he been trained? That the new safety officer, you can replace that with he. That's the subject. Okay, and the same with number six. Has we Have we been issued the new helmets? Okay, let's go back to see the others' answers. Okay. There were moments I believed you were there. Do I miss you? Am I lying to myself again? If I do these things, it's all because of you. I keep holding on, but I'll try. Oops. Okay. Hey, let's continue. Who's missing? Sandra, Miriam, Rene, William. Okay. Let's understand what's going on with this new grammar topic. Where's your book? I can find your book. Wait a minute. To think of you. Okay, alguien encontró super difícil este tema. Hello. ¿Alguien encontró bien difícil este tema? No. Ok, aunque okay, cayó otorga, vamos a hacer un examencito ahorita. Imagínense los agarrar así todos los días. Un examen, un examen, otro examen. Ay, no. Come on, guys. Ok, let's see. So, dice la regla. 
Ok, voy a hablar sobre el objeto. Ya me dieron el objeto, entonces, ¿cuál sería la 1? Three new safety measures. Hice la regla que necesito, el auxiliar. Okay. Y el verbo to be en su forma participia. Okay. Ajá, very good. Have been. Ok, so have been what? Three new safety measures have been. Ok. Created. Created. Ok. I go with that. Number two. Have been given. We have been given new earplugs. Sí, aquí era given or issued. Cualquiera de los dos. We have been given. No, we have been given, we have been issued. Okay. Hemos sido dados nuevos. ¿Qué son los earplugs? Protectores auditivos. Hemos sido hechos nuevos protectores auditivos. Algo así. Okay, the new safety Googles are nice. They are, or they, uh -huh. They have been innovated. Innovated. Good. Okay. The new steel toe, steel toe boots mm -hmm. have been made. Have been made. Made of genuine leather. Leather. Sorry, leather. In leather. Number five. Hmm. Hard. 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 Ever has. Hard. Has. Okay. The new safety officer. Been. Been what? Trained. You got it. Have been trained. Okay. Has the new safety officer been trained? Okay. Porque esto, porque esto es he, right? Third person. No importa cuántos calificativos sean el sujeto, siempre va a seguir siendo el sujeto. Okay. Have. Have. Okay, Johnny. Have we been? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Have we been? What? Given or issued? Given issues. Okay. Yep. Given or issued. The new helmets. Have we been issued the new helmets? Have we been given the, oh, okay. Have we been given, and that's the point. Se nos han dado, así, algo así sería, ¿no? Se nos han dado los nuevos cascos. Se nos han entregado los nuevos cascos, sería. Right? Les parece raro porque no estamos acostumbrados a utilizar esa manera de hablar, porque es más propia de las personas en España, ¿no? Los españoles. Right? And, teacher, let me get this straight. Get this straight. Mm -hmm. And this point... Yeah, in this in this point, uh, the pronoun, or yeah, the pronoun, it becomes a as object as well. Yay! You got it. As we did it before. Okay. See, sí, correct. As I did it okay. before, I have been. No wait. Something has been told to me. ¿Cómo sería la voz activa en presente perfecto de eso. Something has been told to me. Alexander, something has been told to me. Something has been told to me. Uh, I, I told, I have told with something. I will Talk. That's difficult. It's present okay. perfect. 
Maya. something I have. <laughs> okay, let me write, write it. Something has been told to me. Told. Algo se me ha sido dicho. Algo se me ha dicho. Algo se me ha dicho. Something has been told to me. Si me, como tú decís, Alexander, es el sujeto, eso sería I bear. I. Ok. Y luego. I have been. Tengo que usar been. Told. Tengo que usar been. No. No, I have told. I am. Eso era lo que se refería a Alan. I, ok, so, con objetos indirectos es difícil ocupar la voz pasiva. Something has been told to me. Mm. I have been told something. I have been told something. Something has been told to me. But it doesn't make sense, right? No estoy aplicando la voz pasiva. No, o sea, si sí la yeah. puedo aplicar. Pero no tendría sentido hacerlo así. Perdería mm -hmm. el sentido. Something has been told. I have been told mm -hmm. something. Oh, Algo told. se me ha dicho. Algo se ha dicho. A mí. It's difficult. This, that part, objeto indirecto, pero ese es otro rollo. Okay. It's a crazy thing. Okay, let's keep it this way. Vamos a mantener la cosa simple, okay? As simple as possible. Let's try this on your book, on your notebook, please. We only have 10 minutes. This is all present perfect. Try to make it passive voice. Acuérdense, su meta ahorita es ocupar en cada oración has o have y been más el verbo en participio. Ay, señor, esta mujer me va a matar con ese olor a carne que tiene ahorita. Ay, no, porque está cocinando. My God, I'm sorry, guys. Estoy en una dieta bien rígida. Me siento Superman, pero super mantenido. My God. Harry has paid the bill. Come on, guys, you can do it. I know you can do it. Los que tienen las cámaras apagadas, voy a ir seleccionando para que me den las respuestas. Javier has been paid by Curry. Oh, very good. Let's wait for the others. Thank you. You got it. Wait. <laughs> The, the bill <laughs> the bill has been paid by Kerry. 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 Hey, what's going on with Isela? Jose? Mm, I don't know. Um, as I mentioned before, she now is a team manager. Sometimes she stays right. at uh, uh, continue working with other details even the <sighs> even he or she is over he stay there hmm.
If you're done, raise your hand whenever you're done. Let us know if you have any questions. One minute. Comercial, señores. Esto de la contratación en los call centers se ha reventado esta silla, ¿no? Ay, que no. Están dando bonos hasta de 800 dólares para contratar gente. En inglés, en inglés. I need a lot of people. Si saben de alguien, me avisan, por favor, eh. Uh, the limitation is the people who can speak English. <laughs> That's my point. About... I mean, if you know someone who can speak very well, very fluently, mm -hmm. just let me know. Christmas is coming and I need money. Right. And what about the money? <laughs> I, I can give you a hundred. <laughs> I can give you a hundred dollars if you get me someone. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know because you you get money when you respect some uh -huh. someone else. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll give you the half. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good business. Some people does that for a living. Okay. Sure. Algunos sí están haciendo eso solo. Y la verdad es que buen negocio. It's ok, nice. ya, yeah, pero ya está cada vez más difícil encontrar bichos que puedan hablar. Every day. Ok. Yeah. Let's keep going. So, Kerry has paid the bill and Jocelyn gave us the answer. What did you say? The bill has been paid by Kerry. Yep. Ok. Next, René. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. I have eaten a hamburger. Um, um, ah, uh -huh. a hamburger. A hamburger. Ha, have it. Have it. Have or has? No. Yes, yes. Have has. Have. I know. Has been. A hamburger has been eating. 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 Uh -huh. okay. aquí, es aquí es donde ya no importa si quién, quién el doer, right? El, oh, do el okay. doer ya, ya no importa, pero si lo quieren agregar, right? Sería by okay. doer. By me, lo que decía Alexander, el sujeto se vuelve mm. objeto. 
a hamburger, ojo con eso todo, ¿eh? que si el, el objeto es singular, pues eh, sería tratado como tal, ¿no? Como tercera persona. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Has been okay. eaten by me. Adita, oh. we have cycled five miles. Hemos bicicleteado cinco millas. Mm. Ada? We have. Hmm. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es el objeto acá de la oración, Ada? Claro. Ese es el verbo. Millas. Uh -huh. Ajá, cinco millas. Sería ahora el objeto. Ajá. Five miles. Continuemos a. Five miles have been. Cabal como es en plural. Uh -huh. Have been. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Have been. Cycled, cycled. Five miles have been cycled. Y de nuevo, puedo dejar así la oración si el, no me interesa el doer. Si no, ¿cómo mm -hmm. lo haría entonces? Five miles have been cycled by. We. ¿Cuál es us. el objeto pronombre we. de we? Us. By us. us. By us. Very good. Yes. Five miles have been cycled by us. Carol, I have opened the present. The present mm -hmm. has been opened by me. Come on. Excellent. Open by me. Uh -huh. Let's see, Sandra. They have not read the book. Re uh, read the book. Hmm. ¿Cuál es el objeto, Sandra? No, no, no it's the book. Uh -huh. The book. Ha uh, have been. Mm -hmm. Have been. Mm, pero está negativo. Mm, no, no es, ah, sí, es de negativo. Sí. Muy bien. Entonces, mm, hasn't, hasn't, hasn't been. been. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de Reed, chicos? Boy. Lo veo todo pensativo. Red. Red. Sigue, sigue siendo lo mismo, ¿no? Read, red, red. Mm. Ok. Ya, yeah. read, red, red. Okay, Sandra, the book hasn't been read. The book. By oh. them. Si fuese necesario poner uh -huh, el doer, sería by them. Mm -hmm. Porque el sujeto se vuelve objeto. Cabal. Okay, you have not seen the parcel. Alan. Okay. Send. Send. Um... The parcel has not been sent. Mm -hmm. Y you, el objeto es you también. The parcel has not been sent. ¿Qué es una parcel? Una parcela. Really? Okay. Carlita, number seven, we have not agreed to this issue. Um, this issue... Hasn't, hasn't been agreed by us. Mm -hmm. This issue had this issue hasn't been agreed by us. Uh -huh. This is a exception. Fíjate que sí es lo que estoy pensando porque sería raro, pero así sería. This issue hasn't been agreed by us. Ese, esa preposición se elimina. We have not agreed to this issue. Salvo que te la quería llevar de británico y poner la preposición antes del this. <laughs> to this issue hasn't been. No. Okay. No. That doesn't make sense. 
Suddenly, yeah, you kill the preposition. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Miguel, you're so quiet. Hurry up. How do you say thieves? Thieves. The thieves. The thieves have not been caught. Exactly. Haven't been caught. Oui. Caught. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> By them. Okay. Next. Volunteer. Rina. Has she phoned me? Has she phoned him? It's a question. Everybody. Has he been found? He been found? Has he by been he, found? By, by her. By her. By her. <laughs> Has he been found by her? And the last one. Have they noticed us? We have. It's a question. Have, have, have we? I like. Okay. Uh huh. Have we been noticed, noticed by them? Yeah. Have we been noticed by them? Have we been noticed by them? You got it. Good job. Ahorita se los envío su WhatsApp. Okay, so I'm staying with Mr. Abrigo just for 10 minutes. Let me do the attendance and I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Have a good night. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Night, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm still here. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night. Good, good night. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present. Good night. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Good night. Good night. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Luis, um, sorry. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. Hey. Good fight. See you tomorrow. Okay. We are here again. Here I go again. <sighs> Hey, you love the, the 80s music, right? Yep. Yes. What about you? I I listen to all kinds of music. I don't have any. Just just uh banda. I don't I don't like banda. <coughs> no, it's no with me. I can hear everything. Electronic agropecuarian uh, music. Ah uh, yeah, agropecuarian music's not my case. But whatever. It is, instead of reggaeton, I like to see them how dance the reggaeton. Oh, of course, I like mean, <laughs> intenso. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's just that music without lyrics. It doesn't make sense. Mm, some in some case, maybe. Well, I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, 
For oh. example, if, if you are you are listening music that is uh, uh, singing some, uh, and you start to imagine in your mind or trying to to uh, figure out the 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 scene, the how the the the, the the singer trying to translate into the in the world that is trying to describe the song, you are out of the thing that you are doing. You are doing in that moment, right? But if you are, for example, instrumental music, doesn't have to imagine what the singer trying to to give you. Just listening. Just listening. Yeah, totally. So, what are you doing to practice English nowadays? Um, actually, I'm practicing English just with the class. Really? Um, yeah, it's the only the only period of the time in the in the day that I practice my English. Um, uh, in all the rest of the day, all whole day, the I whole just day. read it. I just read in books or manuals or something like that. That is in English, but when I try to speak with someone. They're like, you're crazy, man. Oh, you're a freak guy trying to, oh, you're a fancy guy. <laughs> they, to, they, make, yeah. um, they make fun of you. Yeah, that's the reason. And in my work, for example, I'm trying to speak with, with Carolina, but she feels strange that they all, all around, they don't speak English, just Spanish and say, hey, ah, you're trying to impress that you can speak in English. And that is the, way, the reason that we don't talk in English over so just when we are in the class. Okay. Other people doesn't, doesn't understand that. Why do you want to learn English? In my case, just for, for improve my, my, my knowledge about the, uh, for example, I give you an, uh, uh, I, I'm trying to learn another language. In this case, I try to learn Dutch because some of the manuals are in in that language that German. I want to learn. No, in Dutch. Dutch. Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. No. Netherlands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's difficult. Not at all because it's it's based in English. Most of the word it sounds Romance. weird. It sounds weird, but it's similar to, to English. At the beginning, it's necessary to learn English to understand all the rest of the words. And that's the reason I want to improve it. Now, uh, I, I think that in my case, for my age, it's not for give another change. How old are you? I'm uh, 35. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. Hey, but you're Probably. single. You're single, right? No, actually, I'm, I'm I'm married. You're married, okay? Yeah. But you um, look like you look like single. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I know. Maybe I have a belly. I have a belly too. No, but belly, but no kids. <laughs> Do you have kids? Yeah, I have one. Three years one old. kid. Yeah, three. One kid. Yeah. No, just one. Three years old. All right, he's three years old. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's like uh, ten in one. <laughs> of course, for you, I mean, yeah, yeah. Trying but you to... you don't look you don't look that stressed, you know. It's like, or you're an easy guy, you know, like. Uh, um, in, in my case, my work. What uh, I, I, I one year ago, my work, it uh, was a stressful. Well, actually, it's a stressful, but. Uh, have some disease this the beginning uh, have some disease professional disease hypertension you know that mm -hmm. and you, you, mean, you mean to say uh, illnesses illnesses yeah, yeah that sounds... uh, the start some uh, high pressure blood and oh, high and blood I, high blood pressure high blood pressure and i, I decide to to calm down because you feel like uh, i'm going to die in this work they are the, well, for example, in my case, I live, I have two years to work in the same company. I've, I've been working two I years. I have been working two years for the same company. Same company uh -huh. 
in that two years, I will see three different partners to live the same place, the same next to me, because they feel like it's so stressful. They, they left. I mean, they, they, they left. They quit the job. Yeah. Really? That's sad. But it's not, it's try to, it's, it's not to be like, um, I'm going to die because it's something wrong. There is something, a mistake or something like that. No, I think there's to take it easy. It's not to be like, hey, something happens. So yeah, we, we tend, we usually take things too serious, right? Yeah. Even, even if it is job related, I think you can calm down. I have always been, ever since I was a kid, I have never been an angry person. I've never <laughs> get upset for nothing at all. And if I get upset, I just quickly try to change my mindset, you know, like, oh, stop. I, I prefer to go, go out of the office and go to the cafeteria and take a coffee and sit down and be alone and, and think about it. And I, when I say so, think about how to think about how to kill people, right? <laughs> no, 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 it's not my case. Like, a, just punch someone in the or, or give a a hue with uh, in the face with the you know the a, son. a friend of mine used to say <laughs> that I when I'm upset I always think about the funniest way to yeah. kill to kill that person. What will be the funniest <laughs> way? I was like, you're crazy, oh. man. And yeah, he... in stressful places, it is necessary to manage. How can you uh, get the the good way to understand the situation? Because if you, one of my both says, hey, you are so dramatical. Don't take it easy, man. It's, you are going to die if you continue that way. And yeah. I'm trying to, to take that advice. What? advice take advice follow follow his advice you tend to overreact that's the yeah. word we we tend to overreact for everything i was i was um giving a shower to my dog yesterday and when i cut when i could when i caught his nails his back feet you know nails yeah. he goes no he he goes backwards on the floor and he starts looking at me and, and howling, yelling, because he doesn't like it. I mean, he doesn't get aggressive, but he's a drama, full drama. <laughs> you know, I'm like, he's very funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> small <Yeah>. things. <laughs> small, small things. <laughs> No. Okay, man, it's nice to talk to you. You have very good English, but all you have to do is practice. That's all. Actually, I feel, I feel like uh, it's like uncomfortable when I am speaking because I forgot some words. I forget some words. Or I, the, you forget like, the pronunciation. No, it's, it's more... Uh, well, that's the one thing that I think... Or the order. I, the order of the verbs. That's the main thing that I lose all the time or the, the tense of the sentences I try to express, I think that it's wrong in some of the cases because... Because you doubt. But the more you practice, the better. That's all. Okay? That's... I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take care, man. Take care. Good night.